Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and is there a chance that a supernova roughly around 8 million years ago is the reason why you and I walk on two feet today? Today we're going to discuss a paper that I recently discovered that suggests that the so-called bipedalism, or the ability to walk on two feet, as opposed to four feet of course, may have evolved as a result of a supernova roughly around 8 million years ago. So let's talk a little bit more about this and welcome to What The Math. Now, if you don't know anything about supernova, there's a lot of videos on the channel where I explain this in a lot of detail, so today we're not really talking about the supernova itself, but the effects of these unusual phenomena on our planet and, of course, on the evolution of life on our planet. And let's start with this. So, scientists today believe that roughly around 8 to possibly 14 million years ago, something resulted in the kind of a split of uh, the ancestors of humans and modern chimps. The chimps, they remained a quadrupedal, basically walking on four feet as a preferred locomotion, and that's for the most part because they actually stayed in forest and lived in locations where being four-feeted animal is actually better. And so gorillas, um, chimpanzees, orangutans, or similar animals, even though they can technically kind of walk on two feet, they still prefer to do what's known as quadrupedal locomotion or walk on four feet because it's basically better for them. And one of the best explanations to date is that something happens to the world roughly around 8 to 14 million years ago where what used to be a very lush, very uh, rich forest uh, slowly transformed into more of a savanna-like environment with a lot of open spaces and a lot of grasses where being a quadrupedal animal would not actually benefit you as much. Specifically because seeing things from grasslands as you stand on four feet was actually a little bit challenging. So being a bipedal animal was a lot more evolutionarily advantageous. And a lot of this can be evolutionarily explained by looking at differences between chimps and humans. A lot of the adaptations in the human body are to basically be a better walker on two feet as opposed to four feet. There are a lot of papers on this topic, but one of the ones that I'm going to recommend is in the description below. This is on origin of bipedal locomotion. And in a lot of detail, it explains how it's very likely that due to the changes around the planet, humans eventually evolved the ability to be very efficient walkers on two feet. But all these explanations are based on the idea of a climatic shift or a change in climate, a change in the environment. And they do explain that the main reason we, we became bipedal was actually due to the emergence of varied habitats due to various environmental shifts. In other words, the environmental changes around the planet kind of pushed the human ancestors to turn into bipedal animals and to become really, really good at it. And this, of course, raises the next question. So what caused these environmental changes? Although what's interesting here is that most animals chose the different approach. They didn't really adapt to being better walkers or change their shape in any way. They actually adapted their diet. The vast majority of animals around the planet chose to change their diet to be more grass oriented. As a matter of fact, a lot of animals, uh, they evolved their teeth to be able to process and to obviously eat grass better. And uh, this worked well for them. But for humans, we went the other way and instead evolved to walk on two feet. This wasn't of course conscious, but that's how evolution works. Some things adapt this way, other things adapt the other way. But anyway, let's go back to the idea of this climate change or environmental change. What may have caused it? Now, unfortunately, right now, there is no one explanation for what may have resulted in the expansion of the savannas and uh, grasslands and the shrinking of the forests. But we know that it's very likely started happening anywhere between 7 to 8 to possibly 14 million years ago. And I'm going to put one more paper in the description below that talks briefly about the evolution of the planet along with the evolution of human ancestors, because it's actually another relevant paper to this discussion. There is, however, a connection that has been observed in the uh, various samples around the planet from roughly around 2.6 million years ago. The forest fires, which of course may result in the creation of these savannas and grasslands, increased dramatically roughly around 2.6 million years ago, while at the same time, these terrestrial fires are also correlated with a higher amount of various cosmic isotopes, 
or basically various radioactive elements that come to us from space. And specifically here, it's iron 60 that's usually produced during very powerful supernova. So in other words, there is a bit of a correlation between uh, possibly a supernova happening around 2.6 million years ago and a sudden increase in forest fires. And this paper right here explains it pretty well how the amount of cosmic radiation coming because of the supernova would actually increase the ionization of the actual atmosphere which would then result in a dramatic increase of lightning uh, per area. So in other words, because the supernova would ionize the atmosphere, it would increase the amount of lightnings which would then very likely produce more forest fires. And the sudden increase uh, of these forest fires around the planet 2.6 million years ago is quite visible in other deposits around the planet, including higher deposits of CO2 concentration and a lot of other components that are usually produced during uh, forest fires. So there's a very logical explanation and a very strong correlation between a supernova happening nearby and an increase in forest fires, which could potentially transform the planet. And so using these ideas, the scientists behind this paper suggest that, well, okay, how about 8 to 14 million years ago? How about the time when we know the planet transformed from forest-like environment to savanna and grassland-like environments? Could this have also been caused by a supernova? And so this is actually the main question that the scientists pose in this paper. It's not really resolved yet because they're currently trying to find some sort of a sign of a nearby supernova from about 8 to 14 million years ago that would be a telltale sign that it definitely happened or at least some sort of a deposit somewhere on the planet where we can see that the supernova did bombard our planet with various components. But the explanation itself is actually quite sound. When you really think about it, a supernova would produce more lightnings, but it would also increase the amount of so-called muons in the atmosphere that do increase the chance for genetic mutations. In other words, it increases the type of radiation that would cause DNA to mutate. And this would maybe result in some animals, like human ancestors, to suddenly evolve these abilities to walk on two feet a lot better than other animals. In other words, all of the sort of explanations by themselves make a lot of sense. It just we haven't really been able to explain it all together because we don't have enough evidence just yet. And because it's a relatively recent paper from only a few months ago, I'm sure that eventually the scientists will either confirm their idea, confirm their hypothesis, or they'll probably find another explanation for all of this. As of now, it's still sort of a hypothesis, but it does have a very good, very solid foundation behind it. So personally, I'm not gonna say that, yes, for sure, supernova, the reasons why we walk on two feet, but it's very likely that this is probably the best explanation we have so far. As of today, there is no better explanation for why our planet transformed so dramatically roughly 8 to 14 million years ago, and there is no better explanation for why humans evolved to walk on two feet. But honestly, I'm just going to give you guys the link to the paper, you can check it out by yourself in the description below, and also let me know in the uh, comments below what do you think. What other possible reasons could there be why humans evolved to walk on two feet, as opposed to other uh, similar animals like chimps and gorillas? Although, honestly, I'm definitely leaning toward this explanation, probably because it's the coolest of them all. A supernova causing an animal to evolve to become bipedal and then literally kind of unofficially take over the world. That's a pretty awesome explanation. Anyway, on that note, I'll leave you guys with the papers uh, that you can find in the description below. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. I'll see you tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye-bye. Oh, and by the way, maybe even consider supporting this channel Patreon because it does help me quite a lot. And subscribe and click on that bell button to get notified about future videos. Anyway, space out.